Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Texplain and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can easily fix this error saying that the DNS server is not responding. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you can do is go ahead and manually enter a new DNS server. You can do that by right clicking on this little ethernet icon right over here. Click on open network and internet settings. Then click on ethernet and then click on change adapter options. Then you want to right click on the adapter that you are using and click on properties. Then double click on internet protocol version 4. And then you want to make sure that this says use the following DNS server addresses and make sure that you put in 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 in the preferred DNS server and in alternate DNS server you want to enter 8.8.4.4. .4. And once you've done that you want to go ahead and click on OK and click on OK once again. And then go ahead and see whether it is fixed or not. Okay, so before we continue with the video, as you guys can see, only 0.5% of you guys is subscribed to my channel. Now, if you think this video was helpful already, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel and drop a like because that would really help me out a lot. So let's continue with the video. Okay, so if that didn't work, something else you can try is go ahead and open up CMD and run it as administrator. Then you want to go ahead and enter IP config space slash flush DNS and click on enter once you've done that you want to go ahead and enter ip config once again and then space slash register dns click on enter and once you've done that type in ip config space slash renew and wait until that is done now once you've done that you want to go ahead and type in netch winsock reset catalog and then just click on enter Okay, once it says successfully reset the windsock catalog, what you want to do is go ahead and type in netch int ipv4 reset reset dot log and then just click on enter. And in case you're using IP version 6, you want to go ahead and do the same, but just instead of ipv4, type in IP version 6. So just netch int ipv6 and then reset reset dot log and then click on enter. Okay, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and close out of this and reboot your PC and see whether it is fixed or not. Okay, so now for the last method, you want to go ahead and right click on this little Ethernet icon, click on open network and internet settings, then click on Ethernet, click on change adapter options, then right click on the adapter that you are using and click on properties and then just click on configure. Then you want to go over on to advanced and search for network address. And then just put this on value and in value you want to type in zero and then just click on OK. And once you've done that, you want to right click on your Ethernet adapter and then just click on disable and click on enable and wait until it is restarted. OK, once it restarted, just close out of this and look whether it is fixed or not. And that was basically it for today's video. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and sub consider subscribing to my channel. And if it was not helpful, let me know in the comments what your problem is and I will try to help you out. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.